Hello ladies, welcome back to Linda's Romper Room. <clears throat> I did this as a box opening, but I didn't have this little girl in the frame. So we're gonna, this is just gonna be rip the band-aid off and you're gonna see the new baby. And now we're gonna be able to tell the difference. Here you go. That is the difference between the replica Maddie and the original Maddie. I think they're both cute. She is very heavy and her eyelashes, I'm not sure about. They're kind of like little spider webs, so we might have to change that for sure. But my artist had this baby and yep, this is the Maddie sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And I do have her COA. She almost looks like this little girl, but I think uh, that little girl's got a little more detail to her. But anyway, so she's her body's pretty stiff, but I noticed that she can hold her arms up straight up if I want them to. So I have to think about this. I think she was made stuffed like that so she would sit up easily. Um, so she doesn't feel as cuddly as my other girls do. So, and the only body that I have left is a 24 inch body from AliExpress that goes to my other Maddie that's being rooted. But um, she's a cutie, she's a cutie. And I guess my artist had her all along. She might have shown her to me once or twice, but it just didn't register in my head. So we were talking the other day about wanting, me wanting to get an original Maddie. And she was like, I have one, you know? And I was thinking on it and thinking on it. And then I was like, well, how much do you want for her? And she told me. And then I was like, okay, that seals the deal. And this little girl's name is going to be Abby. Abby, A-B-B-E-Y. And I don't know why that came to me right away, but it did. And I think it suits her. So that's our new addition to the nursery. So we have had... Their three Maddies are out of the nursery right now. Two were sold. One is at my, my friend's house getting rooted. And we'll see if I keep her when she comes back. She may very well be a really good uh, twin to this little girl. And I'll have three brown eyed beauties. So anyway. I just woke up from a nap and I still am not like fully awake and all that, but I think that this box must have got on the plane with my router to Las Vegas because it got here so fast. It, was, it wasn't supposed to be here till Friday and today is Wednesday and it's here. So I'm really shocked. I hope my Russian baby comes that fast. I haven't been able to track the Russian baby yet because of the sanctions. I had to get a special link. So we'll see how that goes. But I also noticed the clothes fit her better. Um, these are the, uh, the ones from Allie that are always kind of big. It's still big around the neck, but it fits her better than the other girls. For some reason, her arms look shorter, but I just think it's the dress. I think it's the dress. There's just a slight difference in them. A slight difference in their sizes. Enough to notice, though. I mean, look, Imani. And big sister now, Abby. <laughs> She's so cute in this outfit. She really looks adorable in that outfit. Lavender is going to be her color. Maybe I should have named her Lavender. <laughs> uh, but she could be Abigail Lavender or Abby Lavender. Yeah, it's not working, I don't think. 
I think she looks like an Abby. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> this is going to be a short one. I'll be back with her later. I think I'll have to do some minor things to her with the weight. The body isn't got the really built-in tush like I'm used to, but I'm not sure about, you know, where I can find a body like that, a more premium type body, if anybody knows where you can have almost like custom-made bodies made. Let me know. So Abby and Amani say goodbye and we'll be back to see you soon.